Hi guys, good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sai Kiran. Today we are going to discuss about application load balancer. Guys, yesterday if you remember we have discussed about network load balancer. So it mainly works on HTTP and HTTPS protocol. So before jumping on to uh, the application load balancer, first we will see what are the disadvantages we have seen uh, in network load balancer and application load balancer is something advanced to the network load balancer guys. So if you see the disadvantages of NLB, we do not have a redirection right, we do not have redirection from HTTP to HTTPS, HTTPS. And what is the second issue? URL or path based was not supported. Was not supported. And the, what is the third one? We are going to discuss this soon, which is a publication firewall. This was also not supported. And the last one, as I said yesterday, it cannot be used as an ingress controller. For Kubernetes. So these are the major disadvantages in the network load balancer, guys. So before jumping onto the practicals, uh, let me draw you the task which what we are going to do today for uh, three public private subnets again we are not taking any public subnets today this is one actually see guys in real time what will happen is you, you will be keeping two two subnets for each service actually or three just for the high availability but for now it's testing right it is okay to keep it in one subnet uh, the first one is uh, home base home base and this one is movie space and this is shows so here what i'm gonna do i'll keep on load balancer so whenever here route 53 will be there so from the internet whenever a user tries to access it via this dns with www.cloudvishwakarma Vishwakarma.in. So if he enter slash home page, he should be re re redirected to. If he enter slash home page, he should be redirected to home page. If he enters www dot slash movies, he should be redirected to movies via the load balancer if he enter shows he should be redirected to shows okay this is the task we are going to achieve today and we are creating only private subnets we are taking three public subnets that is for nat actually apart from that we are not going to keep any instances in the public subnets so this is a somewhat which is related to your real time task guys people who are not aware Make sure that you are doing the practicals if you have time. So let's quickly jump on to the practicals. Uh, I'm sorry guys, before jumping on to the practicals, let me tell you something. First, we'll follow the steps so that it would be easy for you. Uh, the very first step, what we have to do is we have to make sure that the uh, Amazon Certificate Manager, which we have discussed yesterday, if you haven't seen, please go back and uh, watch it and then come back here. If you have the domain name, that would be really awesome to do all the practicals and the second one is to create vpc and the components third one you have to create uh, three instances fourth one you have to create target groups five you have to create one application load balancer six you have to create route 53 and after this what we'll do seventh step will make sure that the redirection is happening from http to 
HTTPS by enabling the rules. And also, each step what we'll do, we'll make sure that uh, in HTTPS rule under load balancer, we'll make sure that the target group is TZ is targeting to the slash movies server. And we'll do the same for slash shows. That's it, guys. This is the flow. Let's go back. Guys, one more thing. I'm going to create one instance. The rest of the two instances you have to create. And make sure that you are keeping it in a private subnet only. And it, this should be 1B. And this should be 1C. I'll create this in 1A. Uh, the reason why I am asking you to do is uh, one way is that video should not be that lengthy, else you will be definitely getting bored. Other way is you will also get a hands on practice. Now, let's go back to my console. So, first, as I said, VPC create VPC. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. ALB project three availability zones three subnets one in availability zone create vpc let's wait till it gets created guys okay guys it's getting done now once it is done what you have to do you have to create a instances with private subnets in three different regions guys before jumping onto the instances make sure that you are giving the security group rules properly else it will throw you in a different different issues See, save it. So here, inbound rules, edit inbound rules. I'll give all traffic anywhere IP and then all TCP I'll give anywhere SSH anywhere. I'll also give HTTP and HTTPS also. Save rules. Now go back to instance. Create one by one. Only in private servers. One should be in 1A. One should be in 1B. Home base. And another one should be in a 1C. Ubuntu. T2 is fine. Let us spam edit. Select the VPC. ALB project. This is a VPC. And where is the private subnet one? Private subnet one, US is 1A, no need of public IP. Create security groups, default, and advanced details. I do prepared some script, guys. This is a user data actually. It's a shell script. We should test right in which server it is going. So for that, now I have created one instance. I'm going to create next two instances, guys. So you have to create it, okay? Guys, done. If you see here, we have created all the three instances. Now, once it is done, you have to create the target groups. Go to target groups. Click on create target groups instances and then name it as I'll name it as ALV hyphen no, not ALV home page hyphen TC HTTP. LB project. We are not redirecting anything right now, but when we when we create movies and shows, then we are going to redirect it from here. And the next here you have to select only home base. Include pending below and then create target groups. Done. Once it is done, first we'll create the load balancer, guys. It will be taking a lot of time. After that, we can come back and create the rest two target groups, which was movie and shows. Today's topic is application load balancer ALB. My VPC, which is ALB project, make sure you're selecting the public subnets only, not private subnets. Public, public, security groups, 
I'll select both HTTP and HTTPS protocols. 443. This is 80, I think, right? Huh, 80 only. 443, and then home page. As I said before, uh, in yesterday's class, this is something ACM. I selected my certificate, which is uh, attached to this to my name, and then I'll come down. I'll click on create load balancer. It will take some time. Meanwhile, we're going to create the rest of the target groups. Create target group instances. Movies hyphen TZ. Come down. Select your VPC. Come down. Here, what you have to do is movies slash. And then click on next. Now you have to select only movies instance. Include as pending below. Create target group. Now create one more target group which is for shows. Shows and then uh, this target group, right? Okay. HTTP and then I'll select my VPC. HTTP only and then here you have to give shows slash. That's it. And then click on next. Now you have to select only shows instance, guys. Then make it as a pending below. And then create target group. So let's wait for some time till the target groups and all the load balancer comes up. Meanwhile, what you can do is you can open route 53. And let's attach our domain name to the network load application load balancer. Go to my cloud issue Amazon. Create record www.cloudishokarma.in and then I'll click on alias alias to application load balancer and then USC is 1A I'll select my application load balancer and then create records I can still go ahead and access with the domain name guys uh, not domain name sorry uh, from the load balancer DNS name but still see uh, we have to follow the real time process only so that's the reason why I'm attaching this DNS to route 53 okay now what's next we should wait till this status changes into like you know sync let's wait for some time yeah it's it's got synced now what we can do is we can go back in www.cloudishukarma.in see this is our home page it was connected to our home page but if i click on movies it, it will not connect and then one more thing what we have to check now is if i remove s from https it should redirect automatically here it, it is showing as uh, like you know maybe it is taking some time to sync up in the back end if I in the incognito mode maybe it would work see now it is saying not secure but even if even if we are checking like this it should redirect but see here it is not redirecting so for redirection what we can do is go back to the load balancer if you come down guys here you can see HTTP and 80 okay if you see here one default rule is there click on the default rule and then see the default rule you can check mark this and then click on actions edit rule here what you can do is redirect to URL HTTPS you have to give the 443 full URL you have to select here not the URL URI ports full URL and then you have to save changes okay if you wait for some time and if you try to access it with HTTP, it will automatically redirect to HTTPS. Okay, we'll try that now from the different browser. We'll open the new No, it's still not synced in the back end. We should wait for some more time. See now it got synced. See if you see the certificate, it was issued by Amazon, which I've showed you yesterday during the time of uh, when we are doing the project on network load balancer and that's it redirection is done now what we have to do is if I click on movies it should go to movie site but now I believe it should not go because we didn't configure in the target groups for now for shows also we haven't configured in the target groups for that what you have to do again you have to come back to the load balancer click on load balancer and then if you scroll down here you can see HTTPS rules there are no rules here manage rules and then add rule route to movies and then next add conditions 
path based here you have to give movie slash star and then confirm next forward to target group refresh here this is movies so it will go to the movies tab and the next priority i'll give it as one and the next and then create now repeat the same step for creation of um, shows select this add the role route to shows it's okay the naming convention is not a problem next add condition and then you have to add path based routing slash um, shows slash star confirm next forward it to shows and then click on next priority you can give it as two next create let's wait for some more time maybe it will get sync in the back end and if i click on movies yeah it is going to movies see and if i come back if i click on shows it will take uh, yeah it, it went to shows also this server is in 1c i think movies was in 1b and uh, the main server which is in 1a this is in 1a home base now we will see from here yeah it's working just to cross testing done that's it guys we have achieved uh, whatever we have discussed so that's all for today's session tomorrow we are going to meet again with the auto scaling groups guys please don't forget to like you know like share and subscribe to my channel if you like my content and also i request you to please forward it to your friends whomsoever is willing to learn uh, the aws stuff for now and one more thing i request you to do the practicals guys please do not uh, ignore the practicals if you're watching this and then if you think that you are good in it then you are definitely wrong please don't take me in a wrong way you should do a lot of practicals that will help you a lot during the time of interview because nowadays no one is asking what is it and what is this everyone is asking about a different different uh, like you know scenario based questions where you can answer only when you do the practicals that's all from my end have a nice day guys we'll see you in the tomorrow session bye bye